Phrases for business meetings. Leading discussions in English. As a leader, what do you say in formal or business discussions? This video will teach you expressions that you can use when conducting meetings in English. Here's an overview. First, we'll talk about greetings and getting started. Then we'll talk about presenting topics, asking for ideas, giving feedback, moving on to the next item, seeking consensus or agreement, summarizing, and finally, closing the meeting. Let's start with greetings. To make everyone feel comfortable at the beginning of a meeting, you can say something like this, Good morning, everyone, or welcome. Welcome to our meeting. Thanks for coming. If you haven't seen everyone for a long time, you can say, It's good to see you, or it's good to see you all. You don't want to waste too much time with greetings. You want to get into the main topic of the meeting. So you can say something like this. Let's get started. We need to discuss. We need to talk about this topic. The purpose of this meeting is to discuss a certain topic or idea. Let's take a look at the agenda. The agenda is a list of items that you're going to discuss during the meeting. You see a sample agenda on the right. The next step is to present the topics on the agenda. The first thing we need to discuss is, the first item on the agenda is, then you can go through the list. The second thing on the list is, next we need to talk about, item number three is, sometimes you may want to present things in terms of options or alternatives. You can say something like this, let's look at the options. We have several choices. We have two alternatives. We could either do this or do that. A good leader will ask participants for their ideas on what to do. A simple phrase for that could be, any ideas? Or you could say, does anyone have any ideas? Any suggestions on that? Any thoughts on this? If you want to ask a particular member of the group, you can say something like this. What do you think, Wendy? What's your opinion, Bob? Giving feedback. A good leader will encourage his or her participants to share their comments and then give them some kind of feedback. You could say something like this. Great idea. Sounds good. Sounds like a good idea. You have a good point there. I like that idea. Sometimes the leader needs to keep the discussion moving, probably because of time. So, if people are stuck on one topic, the leader might say something like this. We need to move on. Let's move on to item two. Let's continue on to the next item, or continue on with the next topic. Let's look at the next topic. The next item of business is, or simply you can ask, should we move on? Seeking consensus or agreement. Sometimes the leader needs to pause and make sure that everyone is in agreement on something. You can say phrases like this. Does everyone agree on that? Do we all agree? So, is everyone in agreement? Are we all on the same page? Toward the end of the meeting, you can summarize what has been discussed. Here are some phrases for doing that. In summary, the conclusion is, so, We've decided to, we're going to do this then. 
sometimes you may have to uh, talk about your plan for action. You could say something like this, our action plan is, and sometimes you'll need to assign group members to do particular tasks. You can say something like this, the assignments are to do this or that. Finally, you want to close the meeting. So here are some phrases the leader can say to bring everything to a close. We need to finish. Let's wrap it up. That's a little bit informal. That's all for today. That's it then. Thanks for coming, or thanks for your time. The meeting is adjourned. That's a little bit more formal. That's all. To see more videos like this, click on the link above. Or check out our websites for more free English learning resources. ESLGold.com or FreeEnglishStudy.com